So, just now here in this diagram it will be difficult to show right it is in three dimensional. So, the magnetic lines of force for any coil will be in here like this ok. It is perpendicular to the plane of the coil and it is very strong and it is shown by parallel lines, parallel lines, equidistant lines because I told you earlier that the uniform magnetic field is shown by parallel lines, equidistant lines. So, you have strong magnetic field at the center and you have a uniform magnetic field at the center. Why is that so? Because each part of the loop, each part of the loop produces the magnetic field in the same direction therefore, magnetic field gets added up. Now, we are not, we are talking about a circular loop. What happens if there are many loops? If there are many turns, what happens in that case? For example, I can have this turn, wire go around, I can take a longer wire and have more and more and more turns close to each other. So, all of them will have same radius, all the loops will have the same radius. Now, what will happen is that the magnetic field produced by each of them will be in the same direction and therefore, the magnetic field will be now multiplied by the number of turns. If my number of turns is n, then the magnetic field will be multiplied by the number of turns and you will have a large a magnetic field at the center. Right. Now, so we proceeded from a single wire, single straight wire to a loop and from a loop we proceeded to many loops. Now, just now I was talking about many loops together, almost maybe you can imagine tied together. Okay. Instead of them, we can have them in some other form. If I have to show the magnetic lines of force, there is another way of showing in two dimensional. Suppose this is north and this is the south direction and I have a coil perpendicular to the paper such that the, the one end is coming out of the paper, other end is going into the paper. Then I will have these concentric circles whose radius is getting bigger and bigger at the two ends. This is the direction of the magnetic field and you would see that at the central region of the coil, the magnetic field is in one particular direction and very strong, very, uh, very uniform. Okay. So, this is how one can show. Uh, it is important to figure out, if you are showing the circles here, the, the magnetic lines will be circled. Okay. So, here what is happening is, you will have what kind of, if I am drawing the current like this, is the wire coming out of the paper or is the wire going inside the paper, all right. Again, I am holding my fingers such that they are curling in the direction of the circle, ok. So, what does the thumb show? It shows that the current is coming up. So, here the current is coming up and here the current is going down, ok. So, you can say I down, I up. There is a convention in physics. It says that if something is, there is a plane here, plane of paper and you want to show something coming up, then you show it with a dot. It means something is coming up. If something is going down, then you show it with a cross, ok, perpendicular to the plane of the paper. So, here it is perpendicular to the plane of paper, here it is perpendicular to the plane of the paper, here it is going in, here it is going out. How do you remember this? Remembering is not very difficult. Imagine an arrow, arrow, actual arrow, it has feathers at the back. If this arrow were coming out, the first thing you would see would be the point. So, imagine the arrow coming out here and you are seeing the, the upcoming point of the arrow. So, here something is coming up, whatever you are talking about, it may be a field, it may be current, it may be anything, anything which is the direction. So, it is coming up. If the arrow was going down, then you would see the feathers which would little bit look like a cross. So, this means that the, this arrow is going inside. So, this is the convention and this is the way to remember the convention and that is what I have shown here. If I am showing the current down, then I show the cross. If I show the current up, then I show the dot. 
So, we as I was saying that you go from straight wire to a single loop of wire and then you go to uh, multiple loops. But I when I talked about the loops, I told you that they were all together, okay, they were all together, formed together and they had the same radius. Such a thing is possible in some other manner also. Consider some kind of core, well, this pen can be a core. I am going to wrap a wire around it. Wire. If the wire is insulated, see my wire is insulated, right? Then I make turns around it. If I want, I can keep the core. If I want to keep the core, I can keep the core or I can simply remove it. What I have here is called a solenoid. S O L E N O I D. So, what is a solenoid? Solenoid is a long coil of insulated conducting material, long such that its length is very large compared to the radius. You pick up any circle and this would be the radius. So, the, if the length is very large compared to the radius, then all the effects that we will discuss just now will hold true, right? And this will be called as a solenoid. If you want, you can have the core in it. The core is always of some insulating material. When I removed the pen, the core was of air. And when I kept the pen, the core was of this plasticky material. Sometimes you have some uh, substance, you have sometimes soft iron, sometimes you have, remember if it is soft iron, the wire is insulated, this wire is insulated. So, the current does not pass through the core, current is around the core, be clear about it. Now, if you want to connect a circuit, this is a battery, resistance, right, plus, minus, plug key. This is the way the current goes. So, the current comes like this, goes this way, continues to go in the same direction. As long as the current is in the same direction, right, the magnetic field produced will be same for all turns and it will get added. It is a vector quantity. It will get added up and therefore, you will have a very strong current in the center part of each turn. That means, all over, all over here you will have a very strong uniform field. 